Hi, every <clears throat> Hi everybody. This is Susan Gerbic. It's a rainy afternoon, and I thought I would just show you something really quick. This is, um, I've been working on the Andrus, Jerry Andrus project for uh, months now, and I have been going through and, and making all the photos as nice as I possibly can. And one of the things I notice a lot when I'm on Facebook is that people are uploading photos of their family, old photos, and they just look pretty bad. I mean, they're nice photos, but they have just flaws in them that don't give the respect a photograph I think deserves. And um, I think that um, a lot of people are intimidated thinking it's too difficult to fix. And I think that they think they have to have some sort of skill and money to do it. If you have a, a, a computer, then you probably have some software on it that you already own. And they're relatively easy to use. You just have to practice. And I think that practicing is a really good idea. I'm going to show you how to make this picture look so much better in just a few quick, you know, um, fixes here on my, on my computer. So this is a picture from Jerry Anders. I think it's taken probably about 1941 before uh, World War II, before he went away to war. And some of the issues with it and you can see underneath here i've got a thousand pictures over here it feels like so one of the problems with it is there's this discoloring here you can see it's kind of orangish here um, there's some flaws on his little dust here 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 it's also cropped weird you know it needs to be cropped and it's just this dull kind of thing now i i know i feel like i know jerry anders very well by now and I think he would have really appreciated this picture to look a lot better. He was a photographer himself. He was a, a just amazing photographer, especially of um, the uh, landscapes. That seems to be his main thing he does, but he does some portrait photography and he does a darn good job and he developed his own film. And um, so I think he would appreciate it a little more kindness. Now, this is a copy. So when you're working with your old family photographs, of course, you can take a picture of your photo with your phone. You could actually upload that to your computer and you could do, do pretty much what I'm doing right now. Now I'm using a PC, so I'm sure Apple probably has some other kind of software than what I'm using right now. But what I'm doing is I'm using Photos, which is just the free program that comes with their computer. It's very, very basic. So what you can do is here's your tools that you're given here. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to edit and create. And I'm going to crop it. See, since it's a black background, you can really see how much how much is on here. And I can straighten this a little bit. It's still, I guess I should have uh, done a better job scanning it. But what we can do is you just crop it in a little bit, just drag it in like this. Now, again, remember, I'm just working on a copy here. So if it isn't perfect, I can I always have my backup. So I'm going to say that that's good. And then I'm going to go to, to adjustments. Now, under adjustments up here, you have red eye, which we don't have to worry about. We have spot fix and we have light and dark clarity and vignette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix these spots. See here, these spots here, here here, 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 all around. Now, I don't tend to fix spots that are like this mole on him or these little dots right here or clear up his acne a little bit. Now, some people do. They they're, they want to clean up pictures of themselves. But for this, if, if it was a temporary spot on somebody like, you know, acne, I could see clearing it up. But if that is a mark that is them and that's how they always are then I don't usually clean up those kinds of things so that's up to you how much you want to fix so I'm going to go over here to spot fix all I'm doing is hitting spot and then you just go and you click can you hear my computer clicking on it I can click on these things and the picture is actually in pretty good shape for being something that was from 1941 this little area here is a little more difficult to do. I have a program that I can use to clean it up a little bit more, but I'm trying to show you how to clean it up with just what the programs you have. So this might take a minute. And I'm just clicking on it over and over. I'm trying to blur it a little bit. Make it so it isn't so obvious. So 
see. And I've had times where if I have, I'm dealing with a picture, it's very, very bad. One of the problems I've had is because um, it's, it's, it's deciding on how, what to fix in that spot based on the other areas around it. Oops, I hit, I hit something and I shouldn't have someone hit back up. And so sometimes I've had where I will save the image and then come back in and start editing it again and you can clean up some, some of the spots. So that's already a little bit better. See, it's better than here. Now let's go through this. Depending on how bad your image is, you may want to use different software. But as I said, I'm trying to show you the free versions of what you already have in your computer. See how they cleaned up that little edge right there. Now, there looks like there's a line right here. Now that could be just a right here. It could be part of his face, or it could be some kind of um, fold in the in the photograph. I'm not really sure. And I see how much bigger that spot fix is than that, and then this dot. So I'm going to use my mouse to um, scroll in so I can make the image a little bit bigger. Now, the bigger you make the image, the more flaws you're going to see. But when you scroll back to normal, now watch, you ready? Here we go. Click. Here's another one. Click. Oops. Click. Click. Come on. There it goes. So like I said, I'm not going to remove any of these, these here. I think that he would like the way it looks with the dark edge. Ooh, it even looks nice, really close like that. It's cropped in. Another thing I want to do is I want to look under this little black area here and see if there's any dots underneath here because sometimes they, they hide there. Okay, so I can hit filters and it makes it go away. Or another trick I've learned is to hit um, rotate. And then that way the image is kind of out of the way and you can kind of see if there's something there that might need to be fixed. Okay. So let's go over to adjustments. Now we've, we've, this is better than it was. Like I said, I, if I, I would clone it using a different program I'm using, but at the moment I'm just doing this. And I'm going to go over here. There's, there's an adjustment here that will do a, um, a fix. And a lot of the times it does a fantastic job. But what I'm going to do for the for this time is I'm just going to use light and dark. See, there's color. Make it more, it's still a faded image and maybe you like it faded, I don't know. But I'm going to use the light and dark. Here's light, here's dark. Look at that, isn't that amazing? So this makes, here, let me show you again. Here's where it was. And it's faded and I've just moved the moved it over here to the darker area. This is still a little bit of an issue here, but it's not as bad as it was. I think Jerry would really like this. Um, other things you could do is there's a vignette. There's a white. Here's a dark vignette. I think he'd like that dark vignette. Can you see how it is right here in the edges? A vignette is this area around the outside here. It's a very simplified version. Here's what it looked like before with no vignette. Here's a light vignette, which looks horrible and a darker vignette. I'm gonna put it over here somewhere. I think he'd like that. And there are filters, which I'm probably not gonna end up using, but let us let me show you some of them, just so you can see what they look like. There's all kinds that um, come free with this program. There's the original. Slate makes it kind of a purple. Um, sunscreen, Zeke, ooh, every pore in your face. This. It's called Sahara. It really makes it look um, like you're in a dust storm, right? <laughs> on Dune. And all kinds of effects. Denim, Mercury, Napa, and Vanilla. So here's the original. Which one did I like? Was there one I like better? Oh, that actually looks really kind of nice. Very, very... Um, very unique. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to unique. I just want to show you that there's all these filters in here. So you can see that this is the image. I'm just going to save. And I'll show you the before. So there's this is the picture that I think Jerry Andrews would be very proud of to have. 
And here is the before. Why doesn't want to do it? Why doesn't want to do it? There it is. See the color difference? And you can see all the little flaws in here. So it really doesn't take a lot of effort to make one into the other. Very, very little. It didn't cost me a penny and it took me, you know, five minutes or whatever it was and I'm fussing a little bit. And if I did want to go through another program, I could do so and probably clean this up a little bit more. There's all sorts of other op, uh, um, uh, filters that you can get. Um, they're not that expensive. And so maybe now you'll take a little more pride in your photographs that you're uploading because um, you know, have some respect for them. These are, these are your family photographs. So I would keep a copy of it. And then maybe this would be the one you might share. It's much more dramatic and it looks really awesome. Thank you guys.